What well, up YouTube? It's your girl Nikki Molly and today we will be doing something a bit new. I'm sexy, I'm cute, I'm popular to boot, I'm bitchin', great hair, the boys all love to stare. Alright, so for today's video we will be reviewing the Brahmin purse. So this is the purse that we will be looking into. And yeah, I'm gonna be oh. <laughs> And yeah, I'm gonna give you guys a few details about this purse just to see if you like it and if it's something you feel like it's a worthwhile purchase. Okay, so Brahmin has more affordable luxury handbags and purses. So that's like the thing with the Brahmin. Each luxury creation is made from some of the finest leathers in Italy, so that's what they told me, okay? And Brahmin handbags have the logo or like the medallion made from brass hardware so yeah that's kind of interesting i thought at first when i looked at it i thought um it was like gold hardware but it's brass hardware so that's like an interesting detail about um in handbags yeah okay so i'm going to go into detail about this specific purse and what i like and what i dislike about it but first i'm going to just give you guys like the details of it okay so is it I think it's called the Esme on the website. I am actually not sure what the name of this little one is on the website because this was bought in store and I don't know, it, it didn't come with anything that told me what the name of this one was. But when I checked the website, the ones that look most similar to it are the Esmes. So I'm just going to say it's an Esme. Although I don't see this specific color on the website, I don't know, I don't know. But yeah, alright. So this is the Esme, as far as I know. Yeah, and it's like a pink magenta color. I really like the color. It's like it's like I love and hate the color at the same time because it's like it's so cute, it's so different because you don't really see magenta purses. But at the same time, it's like, you don't see magenta purses, like, what am I supposed to wear this with? I mean, I have an idea in my head, but I feel like a blue would have been an easier color to wear. I've worn this purse, but I still haven't, like, worn this purse, like, taken pics. So, yeah, I feel like it's kind of hard to wear because of the magenta color. I feel like something like a baby blue or, like, a green would have been an easier color take but it will be worn do not worry about this little one she will be worn okay so the structure of this purse it is pretty structured um it has what you call it it has filling inside of it i don't know what they call these things structure builder foam i don't know but yeah, it has a base inside of it. So I know once I take this out, it will not be as good. But I tried to keep the little foamy things inside. But I'm just going to let you guys see what inside this purse looks like. Ouch. So inside the purse, you have the little Brahmin theme images. Like the logo is all over the inside. And it also has like a little zip um a little zipper inside which like all purses basically do oh my god i didn't even know <laughs> well i didn't know this was in there i really did not open this purse wow all right so i have like a registration card inside and it says oh so yeah like i need to start reading explore because how did i not and i have like girl stop i didn't even know these were inside i really didn't all right so i guess i have the details of this first note because i'm finally looking at the first all right so this says the, the style is lore lay magenta let me see how i read lore lay magenta ombre melbourne yay multiple um I'm not going to sit and read all of this, but that is so sweet. I'm going to find out this in there. I'm going to find out what it is from there. Alright, so they gave a little, I think this is like a little curious thing. 
for self care instructions. Um, but now I listen to that and maybe I just don't know what I do. But it was really sweet of them for giving me this. I didn't know this was inside the bag. Wow. That was a pleasant surprise on camera. Not a lie. Not a lie. Alright, let me put them back inside. And yes, so uh, that is the purse. Uh, uh. Alright, so size and fit. As far as size, I feel like this is a pretty good size. Like, once you can put your makeup in and your phone, I feel like that is enough size or enough space you need for my purse. Because, like, my. What do you call this? Setting powder? Yeah, my powder, like, this is like the powder that I bring if I'm going out with my brush and my phone. What else they need? And some money and like your what your what you call it? Your card. Yeah, so I feel like this purse has more than enough space. Ooh. Yeah, I feel like this purse has more than enough space. So uh, that's it for that. Okay, so now we're going on to price. Honestly, I do not know the price of this purse, but I know that the Esme was two hundred and twenty-five dollars and you know what? I'm going to do a little quick research so we can see what is the price of this purse because what's like, no. Okay, so I just did a quick a little search and I'm proud to say this purse is actually cheaper than I thought it was. So as the Esme was two hundred and twenty five and this is uh, was a hundred and twenty five. So I feel like that is way better because who wants to tell us about a pound of purse? Like you can't get, you can actually get a purse like this on Shein for like five dollars. So I mean, you wouldn't get the quality, honey. Don't get me wrong. You would not get this quality because this is a leather. Okay, this is brass. Okay, like don't don't get it twisted. But just for the look in general, you can literally get a book like this for five dollars. So. Getting this price 125, I feel like is mm, it's an okay deal because you're gonna have this purse for a while. It is an amazing quality purse. I'm not gonna lie. Like I really love the texture. Like guys, do you see this? And I love. It kind of has like a iridescent. I don't really know. Like it, like it's not the way it shines. Probably not that iridescent. I'm probably gonna like cap make it interesting. <laughs> But I really like it. I like how you have like the uh, the crocodile reptile detail. Like really, it's really a nice purse. Mm, 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 mm. This would look so cool if I had like heels that were as this texture. No, muda guan bad. If I were to get some heels, like some magenta heels that match this perfectly, girl, girl, them could have on the back. They could not hold me. But yeah, this is a really nice dress. I really like this dress. Okay, so now for the pros and the cons. Pros. Mm, what are the pros of this dress? I would say the pros are the color because pink magenta is always a vibe. Like it's so girly. Um, another pro would be the texture. Another one would be the space because this purse fits a a lot of things. Um, I actually like that it's brass or gold hardware. I mean, it's brass, but you can basically call it gold because if you're wearing um gold jewelry. Then that's what will probably look best with this. Um, I like that it's brass hardware that kind of ups the quality of the purse. Like, oh, it's brass, you know, it just sounds nice. Uh, it's so, it's so good. Um, the cons of this purse, I would say the fact that it doesn't stand up by itself. It doesn't stand up by itself, so that would be a con. But that's really so unimportant. I think I'm just fishing for cons. But one con that I will definitely stand on is like, look at this little puffy hair. This strap is so 
ugly like the shape of it like what what is that like i don't like the fact that i can't just take a picture of the purse not wearing it and okay so if i take a picture of this purse with if i take a picture of this purse without me or wearing the purse it will look a bit cheap because like what is going on with Honda? like this is not attractive this is very unattractive but um once i put the purse on and then you get the vibe you see the motion you see it you see what's going on but i don't like that fact i wish the the handle was just cute and preppy and perfect so that i could just take pictures of it and it just looks like quality but other than that i feel like that is the only con i would give this oh Oh, another con would be that it's not under $100, like, I mean, I get that it's quality, but it's nice to get things under $100. But yeah, thanks for watching this video. If you would like me to do more reviews on products or things that I like, please leave a like down there and I will get onto that somehow. Yeah. But yeah, thanks for watching my video, guys. Bye.